What's going on, Captain Paul for the Talking Shit Podcast? Um, doing a video from the boat. I'm just gonna go right into it. I, I've seen a lot of uh, social media posts and a lot of uh, even some videos about people defending Antonio Brown. I think Antonio Brown has always kind of been this way, right? If you listen to Ryan Clark when he was with the Steelers, even when he was a rookie, he was a fucking head case. He was always just me, 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 about me, about me. You know, there's no team. It's just all about Antonio. That's the only thing that really matters to him. And what I'm seeing going across social media and this narrative that's going around, oh, it's uh, it's mental health, it's mental health, it's, uh, it's the CTE, it's the Burfa hit, uh, the Montez Burfa hit. It's like, no, it's not. It wasn't that hit that caused him to be an asshole. Antonio Brown has always been an asshole, apparently to a lot of people that have been around him for a long period of time. Is there a possibility of CTE? Maybe, right? But I feel like we're just giving excuses to Brown at this time. I think this guy needs a lot of, uh, a lot of help, but personally, I think he's just a self-consumed narcissistic, uh, excuse me, <coughs> uh, self-consumed person that is a narcissist that's full of himself that just the thinks the world revolves around him and that there's never going to be repercussions for his actions because think about Antonio Brown in this aspect has he really ever been truly punished right so you know the Steelers things happened and the Steelers enabled it for years did not nip it in the butt so a lot of that goes to Tomlin not you know having a backbone then he gets, uh, I think it was the, he actually was on the Bills for like a minute. And then he's like, nope, fuck you. Gone. Uh, then he went to the Raiders. And we all know how that played out with the Mayock and Gruden and just not showing up. And then doing like a you know, YouTube video celebrating when he got cut. Uh, Tom Brady vouches for him, gets him to sign in New England. He played like, I think it was a one game. He played pretty well. But then, you know, he insults Kraft, the owner. Yeah, and he gets uh, released. Um, then after that, when Tom goes down to Tampa Bay, he brings uh, Antonio Brown with him to Tampa Bay, and he vouches for him. Now, this man has had so many different chances. So many different chances. Oh, what? Like, what are we doing here? Like, right? Like, why are we just going to blame it purely on mental health? Right? Do I think there's probably something wrong with him upstairs? Yeah, but I also think this is just the core of the human being who Antonio Brown is. He's just a piece of shit. Um, I wasn't a big fan when the Patriots signed him because I'm a big Pats fan. Um, even regardless of his talent, I just think he brings like far worse shit that's needed. Right? You, like you can get players out there that're gonna do their job and do things right and not be a massive piece of shit. Um, Antonio Brown's had like domestic abuse of charges and it's, it's just it's a whole fucking thing um, it's just even with the vaccine card even regardless of what you think of vaccine cards you can't fake those because that's a federal offense um, I don't know I just think I think it's just I'm seeing a lot of people using mental health as an excuse for his actions I just think this is who the guy is. I, I think he's a piece of shit. I, I think he doesn't care about anyone else but himself. Um, he's always been self-consumed, always about me, 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 me. He's never really cared about the team or what his actions would cause the team. Just look what happened. Look what happened against the Jets. The Patriots, I mean, sorry, the Buccaneers were down. Brady comes back to win, right? How much of a fucking dumbass does Antonio Brown look like? If he thinks he's that special where he can't be replaced in the National Football League where there's, like, like all those players can play, right? Like, if you get to that level, you should be pretty fucking good. And I'm not going to say they're going to have necessarily the talent of Antonio Brown, but they'll be able to fill that void and find somebody, you know, pretty comparable to, you know, catch passes. You got, uh, you know, got Mike Evans still. Obviously, Goodwin's, uh, Godwin's hurt, um, but I don't know. I just, I'm seeing this narrative on social media, and I apologize for a little bit rambly video, but I see this narrative about mental health, oh my god, prayers, like, fuck Antonio Brown, he's a piece of shit, honestly, he's been a piece of shit since day one in the league, and you can talk to his teammates from back in the day that even said, like, he was full of himself, he was all about me, and you know what, 
Um, I say good riddance. And anyone that signs Antonio Brown after this um, incident with him stripping and fucking walking off the field and then, you know, trying to get an Uber, couldn't get an Uber, sit in a police car, finally gets a ride home. Just, it was, it's just, you sign him at your own risk, but I don't think this guy deserves to be in the NFL. He has all the talent in the world, but uh, I just think he is a massive dumpster fire. So that's what I got to say. This is Captain Paul for the Talking Shit Podcast. See you next time.